Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Shiva Alba here, live from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm back home, pretty excited. Hey guys, welcome back. Chef Albert here. Like I always say, the location will never change depending if I move around. And it seems like I'm moving soon, tomorrow actually. So yeah, welcome back to my channel. Chef Albert here, live from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, so today is a Wednesday afternoon. I just got back from getting a haircut and I tried out a new barber. Please take a look. Look with understanding. <laughs> I tried on a new barber because the lady that normally cuts my hair, Erica, is busy today. She has a, she had a few commitments. I'm like, damn. Because she's normally off on Mondays and Tuesdays, so I know Wednesdays guaranteed she'll be able to help me out. But she was very busy today, so I had to find somebody else. And there's a guy back at work that I just always compliment him on his haircuts. And I some, so one day, and then one day I'm like, who, who cuts your hair? And then, come in. Mutapo kota siya pasilal ma tinga tamai. How do you make I'm human. So yeah, uh, so I just got a haircut from... The name of the saloon is called Not Just Not Hair. The guy that cut me, I forgot to ask him his name, is a really, really good guy. We have a few, we had a few chat and he's like, he's a very nice guy. So yeah, so I'm glad and I'm glad he did a good job because I'm traveling tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. I am traveling and I am going back home. Going back to South Africa, I keep it for a How now? When Cassie Hai got his umba. Get a few days, just a few days. I need a few days to quickly tall, Lama. Keep it hand, keep it around my loved ones, and you know. It's a little bit of energy. So I'm pretty, pretty excited that I'm going home. I think I need that. Uh, I need that, and I also want to see, go see my father. <laughs> I'm going to see my parents. I miss them so much. Uh, especially because my dad has, hasn't been feeling well for a while. Uh, before I left, we found out that he's, he, he, has a, he, he has an illness. And it's, it's pretty bad, you know. And I'm like, damn, I am traveling. And I've already made plans. And I've already paid everything. I can't, I can't really... I can't, I can't. Yeah, like, like I can't really now cancel my plans when I've paid so much, you know. I'm like, let me just see this through. And then, you know, I'm coming back home soon, you know. And then, you, you're still good, do you understand? So since I've been here, he's just been getting worse, getting worse. And I, I just feel like, you know what, and let me just go home also, you know. Just go home and see him. And he, he's been saying, he's... 
and he's been saying that he misses me so i'm like you know what let me just just go home spend my vacation day at home and i would have loved to go somewhere else because i wanted to go to la but i think i can still do that at some other time but right now i just feel like i want to go home i miss family and i miss my friends a lot um so yeah and i think it'll do me good also it'll honestly do me good so i'm pretty excited about that i'm traveling tomorrow i've been packing the entire week uh so so yeah pretty excited for that and also i for me to actually uh think this through uh, a friend of mine is celebrating something in a few weeks and it's something very important to her so i'm like uh i really 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 want to be there you know i really really want to be there i'm gonna push to come she said no 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 uh don't push to come don't come uh if you can't you can't you know but i just feel like i really really want to be there so i'm like okay you know what at least this trip i'll be able to do everything you know and i'll be able to do a bit of work also so i'm glad that i'll be able to be there with her um as she celebrates this and i'm gonna go see family i'm gonna spend some time with family and i get to work also a little bit you know um, obviously i have to work so and I'm, i've been i've been been missing it since i got you i miss my client <laughs> so i dedicated a few days of me working uh so yeah, i'm pretty excited another thing also that i'm pretty excited about is the good living <laughs> i'll attach a video up to this uh, it's the good living it's an annual event that happens back at home and i'm always uh attending like i sell i sell food every year uh so for me to miss it, it was really gonna make me sad so i'm glad that i'm actually going home and i get to do that also do you understand i make a bit of money also because this trip wasn't planned planned so it just drained me financially so at least at least i'll get to i'll be able to make a little bit of cash and you know so yeah i'm pretty excited pretty excited pretty excited so yeah so before i leave i want to bake bake some scones for my roommates to enjoy uh while i'm gone with tea and coffee and i'm gonna share that with you guys i actually haven't even eaten today i don't know what's wrong with my eating habits these lately i don't know it's just it's really bad hey guys let's get started <laughs> that is a beautiful song when I came back from getting my Uber, the Uber driver uh, is Mexican, so he was playing all this music, and I'm like, this is beautiful. I don't know what they're saying, but it's stunning. I love that song. Uh, so yeah, we're making scones, cranberry scones. So what you're gonna need, I'm sorry my face is not showing, y'all know how I look. <laughs> so for these, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need dried cranberries. You can use raisins if you don't like uh, cranberries. You're going to need eggs, but eggs, we only need about three eggs. Uh, and we only need the yolk, right? You're going to need cream. You're going to need about 600 milliliters of cream, right? And then you're going to need sugar. Obviously, how do you make pastries without sugar? And then you're going to need self-rising flour, okay? Grapefruit, but the grapefruit, what do we need from this? We just need the zest. You can go ahead and use orange, you can go ahead and use lemons, uh, whichever grapefruit you probably would like. Probably like. So yeah, we need your mixing bowl, a sieve if you have, if you don't, it's fine, but it's better to sift your flour in here uh, in case there's clouds or there's anything stuck in your flour. So then you need your measuring cups, of course. We're going to need a whisk, and then we're going to need a spoon. Then we're gonna need our zester to zest our grapefruit. So yeah, let's get started. It's a pretty basic recipe, but it's really good. The recipe is on my website, so do make sure you check it out. So all you have to do, Chef Albert, dot zero dot zero, right? David Masalela, a friend of mine, is the one that designed this website for me. He's the one that takes care of it. Maintenance done by him, which is very calming because I wouldn't do it. So it has everything. <laughs> it has uh, sh the shop part. That's when I was back at home. People could shop over there. There's a few stuff that I sold. You can go ahead and check it out. 
campaigns that's all my campaign work recipes this is where you want to go uh you have your pastries your condiments your drinks your desserts your sides your mains your soups and your breakfast and then this recipe that i'm making is a right under pastries it's right after it's right under pastries and it's the first pastry you come across Cranberry and grapefruit scones. And then there's muffins. There's pretty good. One thing also you can do is you can go uh, campaigns and check. You see, there's all campaigns and travel. And you go to my travel, you'll see all the places that I've worked at, the content that I've shot while I was still there. Please check this guy out, okay? Please check him out. I'll attach a few paintings he did for me and Sujitati. Look. <laughs> Please do me a favor and check him out. He's so good. He's so good. Keep him busy. This is a painting he did for me. He's really good. And he's quite reasonable also. These are his prices. Please check him out. I'll attach the paintings that he did for me and my friend Sitati. And hopefully you like guys like him and you guys know. I uh, could show him some love. These are great for gifting, especially because it's Christmas. These would make a beautiful, beautiful Christmas gift. They really, really make me smile a lot. So yeah, check him out. Let's get started! <laughs> That's how it was. Every time these elders that come into the house, we all would go to our bedrooms and just chill in there till their guests leave. So probably that's why I just talk so much. <laughs> So we're gonna need three cups of your self-raising flour. Just sift this. So you doing this helps you get rid of all the the knots that are probably stuck in the flour. The you know any anything dirty that probably might have ended up in your flour. This helps. Uh, Get rid of it and you know, so three cups of flour, right? This is such a basic recipe actually. It's basic, it's quick to make, but these are beautiful. Christmas is to me so that we can make them bad too. I'm trying to make some lentidi. Lentidi, the cuckoo's a little bit silly. Let me hear lentidi to the tatamo. If my name is to end this lab cuckoo, how would just lab cuckoo say that? So we're gonna take some zest off this grapefruit. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest also. You don't need a lot. This is just to help get your scones smelling really good. And a little bit of more flavor to it. And then you need about 100 grams of sugar. And then you need about 180 grams of your dried cranberries. There's about 100 and 175 grams in here. 100, uh, where is it? 198 grams in here, so I'm 
I don't know. on the grapefruit, it's fine. It won't do any harm. <laughs> okay, so we need 600 grams of cream. Lately, my thoughts got me distant. Darker days filling up darker minds. Stuck in this room that keeps spinning. Wondering how you been, where you hide. Late night drinking, wishful. This is what you want. Yeah, these, these, this is what you want. And then you're gonna flour your surface, right? Make sure your surface is clean. And then you're gonna take half of this dough, not the entire dough, half of it, right? Good. A gentle fold, don't over fold it. You just fold it so that it mix really well together. More flour. Yeah, but now I'm going to give you a bo 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 <laughs> I make really, really, really nice steamed bread, and there's a trick my mom taught me while making steamed bread. You know how back at home how we make steamed bread and put it in the sun so that it can rise. If you're in a hurry and probably don't have time uh, to actually wait a few hours uh, for your dough to rise, after folding your dough, put it in a metal container or plastic on top. Cover it with plastic and then take another uh, bucket that is uh, bigger than this one. Fill it up with hot water. Fill it up with hot water and then put your bucket on top. But make sure that this bucket doesn't touch the water because it's going to cook it. So make sure the bucket doesn't touch the water. Only the steam touches the water. And your water, uh, don't let it be too hot. Put this on top of the bucket with the, the hot water. Cover it with plastic, cover it with a blanket like we do, and let it go. 30 minutes later, or 15 minutes later, go get it again, mix it, mix it, mix it, cover it again, and do the same thing. Before an hour, you're done. Two hours, see, you present people with fresh made bread. How? Why How? Why? 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 <laughs> so yeah so this is what you want okay this is what you want and see so we're gonna try to do a little bowl form a little bowl and this is what you do all right look at my hands look at my hands it's like i'm about to pick it up right so this is what you do press it gently Press it gently. Don't be rashy. Just nice and slow. Right? So depending on how big you want them to be, uh, you can press them down a little bit more. But I like them a little bit thick. So I'm going to leave it at this. Because once they bake, they're going to be, they're going to get, like they're going to rise. And they're going to be thick and they're going to look nice. In that way, when they people actually do eat it, you only take one scone. I'm trying to tell you what I don't give you more of my dear. So yeah, so this is what you want. Oven is preheating right now, so that by the time I throw these in, I'm good to go. Right? Just the way you cut a pizza, you're gonna do the same thing with this. You're gonna cut it right in the middle. Right? Right?
now you have what six pieces right obviously they won't all be the same size because and it's fine you know everything has the its own little imperfections so that's what you want so the same thing you did here it's the same thing you're gonna do to the rest of the dough right so this recipe yields about 12 scones yields about 12 scones 12 beautiful scones but we won't to the I love these so much, especially because they're so easy to make. You know, you can easily get a call from my in laws. Hey, my god, and you easily just do these within 45 minutes, you're done. They get their freshly made scones. How? That's why Chef Albert in the building. In the building, my love. So that's the same thing you want to do. The same thing you did on the first batch, you do it on this same batch, you know? You got to be consistent. I know most of our, our gents up, out here are not consistent, but try to be consistent in everything you do, okay? Please, <laughs> very important. Please, guys, take care of yourselves. Um, first of seasons, especially in South Africa, very wild. Very wild. So take care of your loved ones. Take care of yourselves. Drink responsibly, please. Uh, drink responsibly and, you know, always be on the lookout. You know, because this is the perfect time for them to just, you know, do what they do best, to rob. So uh, always be alert. Be safe, drink responsibly, especially our beautiful ladies. Drink responsibly. One thing I would recommend is uh, always have what they call uh, charcoal pills. Uh, you can get that at any pharmacy. Charcoal pills are really good, especially, well, I use them for hangover. I have a hangover. I would have a charcoal pill that will help me. Uh, so what the pill does, it takes out everything that's in your body all the alcohol you know so they're good to drink probably when you think somebody has spiked your drink or something easily pop a pill in your mouth water and then whatever it is that probably somebody would have put in your drink uh can easily be you know discharged so carry those if you can charcoal pills they will help you a lot you know we we come across people that are just very unhuman and sometimes you can't even really tell so my tia has to do her beer. So take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, and just be safe. Drink responsibly. At the same time, have fun. Spend time with family, very important. And then yeah. So here we go. And this one is actually a great size. All the sizes are all the same. Well, you see, the more you do it, the more consistent you are. Mm. Just go. So these are perfect, okay? So these, now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. You see how, the, how big these are? These are not the same size, but these are all the same size. So th that's what you want. But it doesn't matter. We're not perfect. Even if they're not perfect, it's fine. They still taste good anyway. And it did yagamali. Yagamali. Gaufe. Rina nyanina yokholo. Yagamali. Gaufe. <laughs> While growing up, my mom, uh, <laughs> she would be really busy and she would have to cook dinner. And obviously, sometimes there's no time. So she would cook dinner, and sometimes dinner will just not like be okay. Like, did you say it's a sabutwa? And she actually means it. She actually meant it. You'll finish cooking in the stomach. No other way. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we, I'm gonna put these in a, on a pan for you. Lifetime talk with Chef Albert, SABC3. And one thing I've realized, I don't know, like I've never really been a communicator. I didn't like to communicate me and I would just let things slide. 
only this year I've just really just started to communicate everything, you know, and uh, and talk. It's the same thing. I had a that I just met the guy. I went to go cut my hair at the barber, and I was just talking. When I left, when I was about to leave, he's like, "Wow, guy, what's your name?" I tell him, "I'm like, thank." He's like, "Thank you." Then I'll thank you. What did I do? He's like, "From what you said and from what we've discussed, I wish you knew how much I took from that." So thank you so much. Um, you coming to get a haircut came with a bit of uh, motivation and you know upliftment. I'm like, "Hi, Baba Tom. It's gonna get some link with therapist." Hmm. So yeah, I'm big on communication. I talk a lot. <laughs> I talk a lot. I just, I don't know. I talk a lot. So yeah, these are done. Cooking spray. If you don't have cooking spray, go ahead and just take butter and spread it. If you don't want to spread butter, just put your foil around this and then uh, let's do that actually. Look, this is a really sad thing. So cooking spray on your pan, put as much as you can, right, and then we're going to set these here, set them nicely, organize them nicely please, the more organized they are, the better they cook, don't pile them up together, because they, if they together, they're going to rise, and by the time they're done, they're sticking together, it will also be a little rather. No. Give them space to breathe. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. I know what we used to, we used to doing this, right? And doing this. Yes, that's separating them, but they still egg yolks inside. So what you want to do is you want to put this in your hands. In your hands. And then, you see what I did? I locked this out so I broke an egg properly. So I don't need all those in my yolks. Next thing, you have scrambled eggs on your scones. You see? Put it in your hands. Be gentle. Don't be in a rush. You see this? We're gonna lock it in with our finger and then take the egg the other side and look. See? Gone. Where else when you just when you just do this? You're not taking everything out. You see it's still here. Get it in here and then lock it. Then wondering how you been, where you hide. Late night drinking, wishful thinking. What if you were here? Morning waking, heart still aching. Something about the way you make me feel. I don't wanna mess up your night. I don't wanna put up a fight. I don't wanna trouble you, baby. Add about a tablespoon of fresh cream. If you don't have cream, you can go ahead and add milk, uh, just to loosen up the eggs a little bit. I'm gonna get, add more. Because if it's too yolky, if it's too yellow, it's gonna give your, your scones a yellow, a, a yellow a yellow color to it and you don't want that so you want to add cream so i've already preheated my oven to 220 degrees uh, these are going to take about 18 to 20 minutes to cook like so easy so with your so with your egg yolk and cream mixture what you want to do is nicely take your time brush your scones right all over Brush your scones. Try to not have, try to not get a lot of liquid on your, on your pan. And try to be fast also before, uh, you know, all this drips and stays on your, on your pan. 
so this is what you want to do just a little bit not a lot if you want i know some people use just milk to brush it uh, so that your sconce has a bit of shine to it but this works perfectly because not only does it give it a shine it gives it also that yellow a bit of yellow golden brown color which i love so much so the other day i was thinking i'm like i need a name for my subscribers because it's not like a and you know i need a name for my subscribers so i want you guys to let me know uh what are we calling you guys because i feel like saying my subscribers my subscribers i don't like it doesn't hang a love hang a love so what are we calling you guys let me know on the comment section but i'll, I'll try to think about it also and somebody asked me, he's like, why about to be some man one? Because you man one and it's like you can say tra la la. I like these sets that are made. I don't know what the material called in English, but it's this, it's like a folded material. I've already packed it. It's like a folded material, silky. In our language, in Sutu, we call it tra la la. So, Growing up till now, only your aunts are the ones that would wear uh, skirts and you know, skirts and dresses made out of that material, and we call it tralala. So, because I wear sets, and my set the sets that I wear are made out of that material, so no other way, and I love it. I love it. So, this is what you want, right? This is what you want. Wana utwere kili kari, So these are done. Okay, I'm gonna pop these in the oven, and they're gonna be in there for about eighteen to twenty minutes. Eighteen to twenty minutes is what we want. Okay. <laughs> Masalia and Tony Masalia. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven. Pop these in the oven. Right in the middle. Make sure that your rack is sitting right in the middle. Don't put it on this rack because it's right next to the heat. They're gonna burn. And also don't put it on the bottom. You wanna make sure it's right on the middle, okay? Make sure that your rack is sitting right in the middle. And then yeah, these, we're gonna cook these for about 18 to 20 minutes and then they should be good, okay? I'm gonna set a timer on my phone and then once the timer goes off, we are good to go. Let's do it together. Also, this just calms, calms you down so much. Calms you down so much timer let's let's put 16 minutes and then when it goes off you'll come see how they look and then if they need to be in the oven for a little bit longer you put two minutes two minutes two minutes it's in 15 minutes i fell out with my neck i had the color oh so bare 30 minutes what oh, fine So these are done. These are done. They smell so good. These are done. I'm gonna leave them outside to cool off and then I'm gonna serve them. Easy! Wasn't that easy? 
wow irgendwo wow klang one two three wow <laughs> so these are good to go this smells so good cause I need some time so cause it has been too long since I got any sleep yeah it's been a while oh, since I've gotten some time just for me yeah I need some time I think I just wanna feel like home But these days I just feel long gone And I don't know how to make it right I've been trying to fake it I have said I can take it But I think you should let me go Cause I need some time Sorry for waking you this early.
So I just got to Atlanta and I literally just got off and I quickly had to rush to the other gate because I'm boarding uh, to head to Johannesburg. There wasn't any layovers which made it a little bit so, pleasant. So, 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 yeah. uh, so, so yeah. Wanna play no games. I just wanna call see if we're okay, babe. All I wanna ask you is Thank you. 